Like, and another thing from the first rounds that I noticed, I, you can, I think you could do the top three, um, was there was a lot of yellow, um, kind of like getting either good starts or up front, like, and the, the one thing that me, me and Manny go back and forth on this, we always talk about it. People keep giving the Suzuki so much shit about, oh, they're outdated, they're blah, blah, blah. I don't, I didn't see many other brands that had as consistent starts, num- stayed together, number one, for the whole, for all of the, the soupy motos. And like, they, they look like they're awesome bikes. Like, I don't get why they catch so much flack. Like, like, do you, do you hear that around the pits? People, it's like talking crap on Suzuki's and then like, you, you start racing with them and you're ahead of them. Like, do you, do you, do you hear all of that like negative buzz? Um, it's funny. Cause I'm hearing less and less of it lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. um, it's kind of, it's kind of what you're saying. It, and, and the funniest thing about it is, um, um, I don't know if you can cuss on the show, but whatever. Yeah, like, let it, let it fly. Um, <laughs> well, people talk a lot of shit about the kickstarting of the bike. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. funny because I'll bet you 90% of them have a two-stroke at home that they kickstart also. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's, it's just really, it's really funny to me that people rip so hard mm-hmm. on the kickstarting of the bike. And like 90% of the time when you hear people talk about Suzuki's or talk yeah. bad about them, it's mostly like, Oh, you still have to kick it or they're heavy. Um, You know, it's weird because like you said, um, the Suzuki's didn't break down during the Supi Motos. Yeah. And um, we've been getting consistent, great starts. Um, There's something about that bike that is really, really good off the line. Mm -hmm. And obviously um, we're making it work. JGR has a full factory effort. They can, pretty much do whatever they want to do to the bike, you know, as far as changing things and manufacturing things and, Mm -hmm. and doing that stuff. But, you know, HEP Suzuki, we obviously have gotten a ton better over the years and we're just, we keep improving, 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 but by no means necessary, do we have the resources that JGR does. Mm -hmm. And um, as you can see with Max Anstey, our bike is right there. So, um, Yeah, it, it's right there. Mm-hmm. And that Olin suspension, we got working really good with Clark Jones. I mean, I really believe, and I've had multiple people come up to me and say, you know, our bike looks like it works better than the JGR bike chassis-wise. And, you know, I, I believe it does. I, I think our uh, our suspension guy, Clark Jones and crew chief, has done an excellent job with the bike. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy how good um, – our chassis feels and how good our bike setup is, especially for the nationals. Oh, most definitely. And I will say it, they are super trick looking. You get a nice looking Suzuki with like the gold uh, fork tubes and the, you know, the mm. blue wheels, like what mm. looks better than that? What yeah. looks better? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know nothing that looks better than that. Come on, Dave. Right? Come on, baby. They're sick. They're, they're, they're such a, like, plus, I mean, out right out of the box, they turn great. Now, I'm not getting paid by Suzuki. I ride a Cali, <laughs> you know, but like. Yeah, but two on top of that, and we got the twisted T with the yellow can on the side. I mean, dude, the twisted T logo looks good. It does. The gear looks good. It's the, solid. Like, like the, I think like um, the design of the bike looks good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we got the bikes getting out of the hole now and they're getting out front. I mean, yeah. a Suzuki is a good bike. I'm Thank sorry. You. I apologize that you have to be a man and you have to kickstart your bike, <laughs> but the bike is good. The it's, bike's really good. They're so, and if everyone just like got their head of their ass, they are very affordable. Now we always talk about the everyday rider we can't afford the new, you know, the brand new latest and greatest, whatever the new modified bike is every year. Suzuki is a solid, solid contender in both classes. And usually you can save a couple grand if you go to that bike. The average rider. I think it's more than a couple grand right now. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's almost like they're giving bikes away. And the average yeah. rider, you're not your lap time is gonna go from whatever it is, like eight minutes a lap to eight minutes a lap you know what i mean you're not yeah you're getting a ktm i mean it's true bro it's true it's a hundred percent true the only thing i think really i mean obviously um you're gonna benefit as a rider um with the new ergonomics of the bikes and the fuel injection depending on how late of a bike you had you know if you had a carbureted bike i mean don't get me wrong. I have a new appreciation for two strokes mm-hmm. um, because of Red Bull straight rhythm. I think they have a place and yeah. I do like my two stroke, but two strokes suck. 
compared to the new 450s. Yeah. The fuel injection and the and the power delivery. There's a time and a place for a two stroke. I think two strokes are super fun. Yeah. They're they're badass bikes and that's where we came from. That's where we started and there's mass amounts of respect there for those bikes. Yeah. But if you're coming off that bike and you're getting one of these new fuel injected bikes, you're going to get so many seconds of lap time. But now if you're if you're looking between, you know, a 2000 what is it? 2012 when Yamaha had a fuel injected bike. Oh, was it 2012 were, or 13? 2010, something like that when they switched. Yeah. So if yeah. you so if you had a 2012 mm-hmm. and you know you're a novice and you're getting you're going to a 2020 Yamaha, it's going to be a little bit better. But the ergonomics and the chassis and most of it's there. Yeah. You know, for us, we need that updated technology and the best stuff we can get. But yeah. you got to think, you know, with what we're doing. Um, the chassis and, and the way that we build the bikes is so much different than what comes off a of showroom floor. We're already so many years in advance. And plus, not only that, but the bikes that we have are like, are so gnarly. Yeah. If a normal person got on it, you'd be like, I'm riding like a brick wall. There, this thing doesn't even work. It has to be at a certain speed. I mean, especially my bike, you know, yeah. I'm 205 pounds. If you got on my bike, you'd be like, dude, I can't even ride this thing. It's just <laughs> deflecting everywhere. So, yeah. um, you know, it's just, it's so funny how many people are like, oh, the new latest and greatest factory stuff. It's like, no, bro, you need a bike that's set up for you. Yes. That's good. That's not going to break. It's reliable. As long as you take care of your shit, it's going to be fine. And you're going to be ripping. I mean, Jerry Robin did it back in the day. Loretta's on that super old, I think it was like a right. CR250, right? Yeah, yeah. like a and, 19, and he, like- 1920s <laughs> <Scar 250. laughs> something like that but yeah i mean he was doing it so talent talent's talent the recipe's the recipe baby i've been told that for a long time amen preach big facts right there big facts uh, so yeah if you guys are looking for a new bike don't don't bullshit on the suzuki they're they're good bikes get one save yourself some money get it set up for you the 722 set it uh,